Do you really think this is a good idea, Carver? Of course, Pat. It's simple. We bag a few Cazadors, we sell the meat and poison up at Novak. Easy caps. But these are fucking Cazadors! How do you expect the three of us to take down a group of them? Nah, quit being a goddamn pussy. Angel over here is ready, why can't you be? Anyways, don't be slow. Let's bag us some Cazadors. Wait! Hey! Wait up! Come on! Away, Donovan. Back again, I see. Hey there, Ravinius. Yeah, I'm back. How did the trip go? Uneventful, I assume. I'd say it was more boring with you guys keeping the roads quiet. True enough. But you must admit that without our protection, the events plaguing the roads would be less than favorable. Yeah, I'll admit that. Me and a lot of others around here are proud to have your protection. Say, my Brahmin's in the main camp. Can you see what I have in stock? I have no desire to pursue your wares, Donovan. I simply came to check on you. Always knew you were sweet on me, Ravinius. Do not test me. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A mutant? Strolling about this hellhole like he owns the place. Huh. Is there a problem? I'm simply here to bag some ghouls for those NCR folk up the road. Nothing more. Well, guess what? This is a holdup now. Hand over any valuables you've scavenged from this shitty ass place, and we'll consider letting you go. I have no quarrel with you, human. But you're making a huge miscalculation. I'm not here for scavenging. Therefore, I have nothing of value to you. I don't care why you're here. We're here to make a fortune, and I bet you've got some goodies. Hand them over. I'm not playing any games. You're not very threatening, human. I advise you to back off. Before I'm forced to do something we'll both regret. I'm afraid you're overestimating your abilities, freak. We're veterans, all from the Desert Rangers. We can take you. Now, last warning. Give it up. I can't give you what I don't have. Why aren't you listening to me? I will kill you and your friends, human. Back off. You mutants always have to do things the hard way. Kill them!
I have eyes. One Decanus Linnaeus, standing clear in the open. We've got you now, you bastard. Take the shot, Ranger. Understood. I'm taking the shot. But I have to just know. I have a bad feeling about this. You always have bad feelings, Ranger. What's it about this time? I don't know. It's just eerie. Everything's gone quiet. Can't you hear it? Even the insects have stopped buzzing. What's going on? I don't know, and I don't care. Take the goddamn shot already. 10-4, I'm taking the shot. Nicely done. Very clean. He won't be troubling us anymore. Come, let's get out of here before they pinpoint our location. Wait, you hear that? Yeah, I hear it now. I think we're being ambushed. Get up, come on. Shit! Legion! Shit. We've been found. Fight, Ranger. Fight like a rabid mole rat. Die, coward! Run, brothers! Run, brothers! Reprisal! Reprisal! Awe, how went the raid? Awe, and yes, I have returned. The raid was a decent success. A small caravan of profligates making for Novak. We waited in the shadows as they passed by. A bunch of women and children, all guarded only by a couple of rangers. <laughs> we waited until they crested the highway, and then it was time for the slaughter. We charged them from our positions in the nearby rocks. Took them by surprise, we did. They didn't stand a chance. We cut them down before even a single shot was fired. Ha! <laughs> Sounds like you guys had a lot of fun. Did the profiligates beg for mercy while you butchered them? <laughs> a woman was screaming for mercy through it all. But mercy is for the weak. She was captured and beheaded for her cowardice at the end of it. Filthy degenerates! Death is a mercy bestowed upon them. They would have made good decorations for a series of crosses. A cross is frightening to them, but a pile of corpses sends a stronger message. <laughs> At any rate, I am exhausted. The bloody work of war does that. Come, let us rest for a while. You look tired, and are certainly worthy of a break. Movements! Guns ready! Guns ready! Hold your fire! They're human! Quick, get inside the perimeter. We need every gun we can get. What do you suggest we do then? We hold position and wait for reinforcements. Somebody's bound to notice when we aren't back soon. A rescue team will be sent! We can't just sit here. They're gonna pick us all off, one by one. We need Sally Fort and get out of here! We can't go out there! We're fucked if we do! The officer is dead! And the rest of the squad is traumatized and fearful, Reinhardt! We need to leave! Now! Then leave the fucking perimeter already, goddamn you! See what happens! Wait! Did you hear that? Something's out there! Be ready! Oh fuck! Fuck! Look out, Amanda!
fuck this place and fuck our goddamn higher ups for sending us out here. We're getting out of here. What the hell's going on over here? Oh, uh, Sergeant Keys. What's going on, sir? What the? What? Where's. Where the fuck's your clothes, Ranger? You're supposed to be on lookout with Jemison. Where's she at? I. Uh. I was just. I don't want to hear your excuses. Where is she? Mm, baby. Come back to bed. Oh, God! Sergeant Keys! Uh, sir! Um, shit! Dear God, Terran. Do you guys really have no self-control? Seriously? I can explain, sir. Really, I can. I don't... I really don't want to hear it. Go put your clothes back on and get back into the building. I'll find someone else to do lookout. Just be glad I'm not reporting you two to the commander. Now, get clothed and get back inside. Now, that's an order. Yes, yes sir. That's right, recruits. Continue. Yes, good. Keep it up. Yes, yes, good. Do it again. Feel the pain. Feel the burn! Look at your sparring mate, and think not of a friend, but instead, your enemy! You will not get a second chance on the battlefield, recruits! You will die if you fuck up, just like you're doing now! Now fix your form! There we go! Much better! Now, parry and strike! No, no! Not like that! Try again! That's what I like to see, recruits! Now, do it again! Shouldn't we be getting a jump start on our upcoming patrol? What? What do you mean? We're not due until a few hours from now. We got time. I guess. I don't feel like it, personally. Won't that make us insubordinate? Ah, <laughs> you worry too much. Patrol will get done when it gets done. Who cares when, as long as it happens soon. <laughs> yeah, true. It'll get done. What does it matter when it gets done? Besides, the rest of the squad are off to who knows where. Ugh, I never should have signed on. Yep, same here. Good puppies. Nice puppies. Good puppies. Aha! Uh -huh. A human! Breaching all defenses! Eat them, puppies! Eat them! Eat them! So what do you suggest we do then? The Brahmin's gone lame, and there's rumor of Legion activity in the area. Let's see. The Brahmin's gone lame, and we're miles away from the nearest town. I'd say we just kill it and get out of here. <sighs> I hate to do that, though. This Brahmin cost me a pretty cap. And the Crimson Caravan don't like wasting Brahmin, you see. If we take the Brahmin with us, it'll slow us down. We'll be caught by Legion before we realize it. No. We've got to put it out of its misery. What else would you have me do anyways? I'm not an animal, Doctor. We don't have a choice. It's us, or it. If you see no other alternative, then I guess we have no choice. Better lose a Brahmin than find ourselves hoisted on a row of crosses. Do it. 
God damn, that Hello. was messy. Enjoy your new home, Karofligate. You'll be lucky if you survive to see the Legion marching on Hula Dan. Please, just kill me already. Why? You look much better dangling from that piece of plywood. <laughs> ah, let us return to Cottonwood Cove. This profligate isn't worth our time oh, anymore. Man. True to Kaiser. Wait, no! Don't leave me! Just end me, please! I never signed on. For Hold this on there, bullshit. Trooper. We're gonna get you down. Oh god, rescue! I thought I was fucked. Quick, get me down, please. Shh. Keep quiet. We're gonna get you down. Just hang on. <laughs> Let's get you back to McCarran, Trooper. The brass is gonna wanna talk to you when you get settled in. What do you want, woman? You enter Legion territory. So what are we gonna do about that dumbass deputy? I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Should we ransom him? The boss man is leaning towards the idea, but isn't sure yet. He seemed kinda hapless. Then we should just kill him. That seems kind of overkill, don't you think? He's the only reason the NCR hasn't stormed this place yet, I think. <sighs> NCR only cares about their own people. You really think they're gonna storm this place to rescue that dipshit of a lawman? Fair point. After all, we're NCR citizens. And they didn't give a shit about us. Exactly. We should go tell the boss, man. We don't need that asshole. Ain't nobody gonna buy him. So let's just kill him. Simple as that. Let's go. Get the fuck out! Please, Master, I... I'm scared. Please do not force me to do this. Do not... Test me. I will have you disposed of and replaced by evening's end if you do not comply. Now dance. Okay, okay. As you command, Master. Entertain us enough for one day. Now go wash up. You sicken me with the filth caking your body. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the burned man again. Damn you! Retribution! Reprisal! Reprisal! Hold up! There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks, but now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. I don't know what it is about you, but I think you could actually pull it off. Death Claws are tough bastards, but you might be even tougher. Nobody here is any use to you in a fight against Death Claws, but take these medical supplies. You'll probably need them. To do the job right, you've got to get rid of the pack leaders, the Mother Death Claw and the Death Claw Alpha Male. Should run the rest of them off. Okay. 
If you insist on going north, don't be expecting a rescue when you get into trouble. Watch out! Do you understand what I'm sending you out for? Yes, Master, I understand. Go to the main camp and grab food You're for the feast. You're slowing down. Pick it I up. We'll do so. Exactly. But I have stipulations. You are to be back before tomorrow, and with enough rations to feed each Centurion. It is a feast, after all. Of course, Master. Good. If you're not back with them at the time allotted, I will personally give you 30 lashes. I understand, Master. Do not speak to anybody but the cook. Grab what you are required to grab and come back. Simple. Got that? Yes, Master. Good. Now get to it. Hold it. Show me your papers. Here you are. Everything seems to be in order. You've come at a bad time, I'm afraid. We won't be able to let you through at this moment in time. What? Why not? Some horrible critters are infesting the road leading into the Mojave. Ranger Jackson has ordered all caravan traffic cease until it clears up. This is... Absolutely unacceptable. I've come all the way from the hub to do business here, and you won't let me through. How dare you? You should do your goddamn job and clean those critters up. What else are you troopers good for besides wasting our tax money? Sir, I'm just doing my job. If you've got a problem, take it up with Ranger Jackson. I'm sure he'd love to tell you what I just told you. I didn't come here to speak with Ranger Jackson. I came here to do business, which you're preventing me from doing. God fucking damn it! You can rest in the barracks for now, but cause any trouble and we'll send you back the way you came. <sighs> I guess that'll have to do. Fuck! Guards, stay with the Brahmin. I'm gonna get a cold one, if this sinkhole has any. What do you want, asswipe? Aw, oh, come on. Is that any way to talk to your captors? You might piss off the wrong person with that attitude. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you goddamn terrorist. I'll never give in to the likes of you. Do your worst. We've already done our worst. I gotta say, I am impressed. Really, the ranger's ability to withstand trauma is amazing. But don't lie, you're half dead. I've already resigned myself to death. I know I'm not getting out of here alive, so either kill me or leave me alone. Well, good news! Eddie has decided he doesn't want you around anymore. Kiss this life goodbye, you ranger whore. See you in hell. tricked my brother into thinking I was dead and now my name is on some stupid memorial in Boulder Looks City. Like Clarkson has had too much to drink again. My name was never Clarkson. My real name is Donald. Donald Kowalski. Clarkson go to bed now before Ranger Jackson sees you like this. Ranger Jackson? Yeah, Ranger Jackson took away my service rifle. And now you got to help me get it back. Try connecting that doohickey to that thing I'm above right there. I think that's what's making that weird noise. I know what I'm doing. What about trying to hook up that pipe to that valve? That might reroute the water at least. I said I know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to help. Well, you're not helping. You're fucking looking over my shoulder, spouting a bunch of nonsense, and is pissing me off. Now shove off. Oh my god, Ryan, what's happening? Are we gonna be alright? 
Calm down, Mariah. I'm gonna be all right. Let's just... Let's just see what they do. All right, trainees. Today we're gonna learn where the vitals are in the profligates. Every human has a vital, and it's crucial you aim for them. I don't like this. We'll start with the male profligate. We captured this one alongside the female next to him near Camp Searchlight. They will serve us well here. Now, first rule of killing is this. Do not pity your enemy. If they are at the edge of your machete, they are not worthy of pity or mercy. Mercy and pity are for the weak. And look at the filthy whore sitting beside him. Women. Serving as soldiers. Disgraceful. They are a front to all men by bearing weapons. These bitches are not even fit to bear children for our fine legion. So pay close attention. There will be no second demonstrations. No. The first vital is located in the neck. Unprotected in most NCR uniforms. We're gonna aim for the jugular. Watch and learn, trainees. This is how you kill. You crimson bastards! Now, on to the first whore. We're gonna go for the heart. It's located in the sternum of the human body. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Watch and learn, trainees. This is how you should handle a female soldier. Now that's a good and easy kill. Now on to the next whore. Behold, a captured ranger. They're notorious for never surrendering. Next vital is the femoral artery. Our machetes are sharp enough to cut glass, trainees. It can cut through NCR trousers like tissue paper. As I'll demonstrate here on her, pay close attention, as we rarely capture rangers alive. As luck would have it, we captured her easily. We captured her while she was sleeping on her patrol. Ah! Easy ah! prey. Now pay close attention, trainee. And that's how you do it, trainees. Any questions? I have one. What if we uh, stick the machete in their belly? What happens then? The stomach is armored in the NCR uniform. Nine times out of ten, it'll bounce off their plate carrier. No. Go for a vital such as the jugular. Um, the sternum is protected by the plate carrier as well. How do we circumvent that? You can't. Not without stripping it in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Avoid the sternum if they are wearing a plate carrier. Go for the jugular or femoral. Most NCR troopers are under-equipped, as it were. So plate carriers might be a rare sight on the battlefield anyways. Any other questions? That does it for today. Return to the main camp, trainees. Your escort will take you there. Dismissed! Stay away. Okay, we're set. Did you give him the ransom note? Uh, I thought you were supposed to send it. Hold on. Run that by me again. Uh, I didn't write it. Thought you were supposed to do that. Wait a second, are you telling me that you didn't even write the ransom note? Uh, yeah, he just said that, you idiot. Shut it, you! You know what that means? If you didn't write the ransom note, that means they never got it. This whole endeavor was for nothing! Alright, so what do you suggest we do then? Because I'm at a loss for words. Well, we have to let her go, now. We don't have a choice, unless you want her blood on your hands. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, no, don't, don't have the stomach for that. You! Just, just get out of here! If we see you again, we'll blow your goddamn head off! Like I'm scared of you. Jesus, Phil. Ah, oh, you're a damn moron! Hey, at least I didn't forget to confiscate her switchblade the first time we tied her up. <sighs> okay, let's just get back to Freeside and try to come up with some other way to earn the big money. We gotta get into that strip somehow, you know? Hey there, Jackson. Hey, Dexter. How's it going? Doing all right. Heading up to the saloon here in a moment. What are you up to? Just trying to figure out why we don't have any females in the herd. What? The big corners are male? All of them? Yeah, all the big horners are male. How are we supposed to maintain a herd with only males? That doesn't make any goddamn sense! Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's actually rather infuriating. Well, you want to come to the saloon with me? A nice cold whiskey might use that frustration. Nah, I'm okay. Someone needs to watch the herd. Make sure no powder gangers sneak off with any of them. You take care now. HQ to Hound Eye. HQ to Hound Eye. Do you copy? Over. Hound Eye reads you. Over. Report in, Hound Eye. What's the situation on your golf trip? Over. The NCR moving the troops around the theater at the moment. I'm seeing new faces in both the rangers and troopers around here. Over. New arrival of troopers and rangers. Are they rotating their deployments? Over. I would say so. Out goes the old and in comes the new. Over. Hmm. Troubling news. Golf isn't far from Forlorn Hope. If they're rotating troops, Forlorn Hope could receive reinforcements within the month. Over. My thoughts exactly. Inform Decanus Dead Sea post haste. Over. Hmm. Understood. We'll relay. Keep us posted. Over. HQ out. What's on tap today, Garverson? Some Brahmin tips, stewed in onions and huave sauce. That doesn't sound like standard rations. It isn't. A caravan came through yesterday and unloaded some excess supplies thanks to some shrewd bargaining. No rations for the next few days. Wait, seriously? Sweet! Oh boy, I can't wait! I owe you a drink, my guy. A nice cold one. How about a kiss from a pretty girl? Uh, no. We'll just do the drink. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. What do you want from me? What's the reason for dragging me out over here, to this back end of the cove? I just wanted to talk to you in private. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I do not conspire in the shadows. You've come to the wrong Legionnaire. You're lucky I do not report you to the Centurion. Conspire? Oh no, nothing like that. I'm not a disloyal dog, after all. I simply wanted to talk. Oh? And what is it that you want, then? Oh, please, please, let me hold your banner, if just for a moment. Please, I've always wanted to be a Vexillarius. Please, just let me hold it. 
Oh, is that all? Huh. That's... That's surprising, really. But no, I cannot. I will not honor your request. Why not? To hold the banner I wield, you must prove yourself in warfare, comrade. It's both an honor and a privilege that you must earn. It can't be handed to you on a silver platter. Oh, I see. I suppose I understand. Then I will strive to become like you. I will strive to become a Vexillarius, and by campaign's end, I will be one. See that you do. Listen up, Legionaries. Your time has come, and your training is over. You have come of age, and you are ready to take up arms for the Legion. Many years you have been training for this moment. From the day you have exited your mother's wombs, you have prepared yourselves for battle. There have been times where you were not expected to make it. There were times where I told you you would beat your deaths in training. But here you are. But I knew better. Where most saw failure, I saw opportunity. Where most saw washouts, I saw future soldiers. Now look at you, standing before me as young adults with much to prove in the years ahead. I, your Hastiliarius, am proud to stand before you today. I hereby promote you, from trainee to recruit within the Legion's ranks. Go out there, recruits, go to battle. Make me proud to call you Legionaries. I'm looking forward to getting sent across the river. True to Kaisar. I don't care about no contract, nor do I care about the NCR's laws on the subject. We've been here without work for weeks now. No work, no money. That's akin to desertion. But instead of being shot, you'll spend your life in prison. Are you sure that's a good idea? I really don't care at this point. Prison's gotta be better than waiting for the death clause to move out this way. Or those fucking powder gang raids. I heard the NCR is going to deal with both of those issues any day now. You don't have to leave. You can come with me, you know. I'm going to Vegas. Going to take what I have and try to make it a fortune. Vegas? That's a hive of NCR activity. Are you crazy? Cold? Oh, oh yeah. I'm, I'm freezing right now. What's going on with you, Amicus? I don't know what's going on with me. First it was his gas, and now it's chills. I just don't get it. I pity you. At any rate, the Dakanas came looking for you. Oh yeah, what'd he want? He wants to see you immediately. I understand that, but I'm fucking freezing! Listen, just tell him I'll be there in 30 minutes. W will you get off my back? As you say, don't keep him waiting. Wally. Good God, this Utopia has really something else, ain't it? Uh, what do you mean? I mean... We traveled to this utopia then hope to find me a new home. A place to start over. Now look at us. The night came out completely lording over us and act like the gods and mortals. It's infuriating! I know, I know. It's awful. We need to do What can you do? We could stomp some heads in! No, no. The night came out. There's only three of us. I like the idea, though. What would you for friends we do? I don't know. Maybe we should pack up. Head elsewhere. I heard there's a settlement of Earth ran by mutants like us. Maybe we should check it out. Why bother? Humans know except us. We'll be killed all before we reach it. We should just stay here. I'll for once. 
better off just staying here. At least here we're safe from persecution and prejudice. I hate enough hiding. At least it's warm around fire. A human? One too many. Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. <gasps> but are we leaving too early? <gasps> one more drink. You had a full vodka, you dolt. We're supposed to be on patrol. Yeah, I guess. But there's nothing going on around these parts. <gasps> Storms, pouty gangers. <gasps> Say, you got an extra cap? Ugh, I knew I shouldn't have let you drag me here. I mean, this is against regulation, you know. Listen, <gasps> don't. Don't use big words right now. <laughs> big words make the dust bunnies in my head go spin, spin. <gasps> Fuck this. I'm going back to Prim. You can find your own way back, drunky. You there, slave. What are the rations for today? Just some salted Brahmin steaks. Nothing more, sir. It's been the same damn thing every day for the past week. Is that really all we have? Unfortunately, sir. The hunters haven't been going out as much lately, according to my master. With some variety for once. What would you have me do, sir? You could start by going back to your master and have him send out the hunters again. We could use more than Brahmin steaks, after all. As you say, sir, I will do so. See that you do, and I might just put a good word into your master. You would? Oh, I would greatly appreciate that, sir. Then it's agreed. I expect to see something new on the menu soon, slave. Now, give me my rations. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, what's for dinner? Brad Roach Chili. God damn. You combine those bugs in our food? Yeah, I mix it. Don't like it? Well, too bad. Caravans are getting sparse, which means food's getting sparse. You eat what I goddamn cook. Yeah, everything's getting sparse. Ammo, powder, supplies in general. Now our food? Fuck. Things are going south quick. I think I'm gonna leave. What? Hey. And you're just gonna up and leave just like that? Hello. I'm not gonna stick around and sink with the rest of y'all. NCR is gonna come for us any day now, and Rad Road Chili is it for me. I'm gone. Ha! <laughs> Whatever, asshole. You want to survive Hello. ten minutes out in the waste hey. by yourself? We'll see how this goes. God, someone who isn't wearing red. Please, you have to help me. I'm a pilot for the NCR was doing a sortie over Legion territory when they got me good, shut me down and left me stranded. My co-pilot was killed in the crash, and I've been running ever since. Those Legion bastards are hot on my tail. Please, help me! I think they're right behind me. They weren't far when I started swimming. Almost drowned with my leg the way it is. I was flying a sortie over Legion territory, dropping off rangers, you know, when I was shot down by a lucky motherfucker with a missile launcher. I've been running for days now, non-stop. Every hour they seem to get closer and closer. 
They're just relentless. Please, you have to help me. They're gonna kill me. Or worse, if they catch me. Shit, there they are. It's fight or die. Let's go! Another kill time. the money? Let me see the caps. Nah, nah, nah. You don't get the money until I see the caps. Fine, here. Take it. Scumbag. That's what I'm talking about. Next time you hold out on me, I'll break your fucking kneecaps. Get it? <laughs> I just got a good idea. Let me show you. Back off. Go away, smooth skin. This doesn't concern you. Stupid robots! Fix other robots! Now! That is not within my capability. I am a combat protectron, not a repair iBot. I said fix other robot! No excuses! Fix, fix, fix! Again, that is not possible. I am deeply sorry for the confusion, but I am a combat protectron, not a repair I bought. Uh, you are useless! Time to fix that! Bah, I'll tell Tabitha to have Raoul fix it. Hello! Could you please direct me to Mistress Tabitha? Thank you very much! My internal clock says it's been six years, 52 days, 40 minutes, and 13 seconds since I last spoke to her. I hope she hasn't gotten lonely. Stupid human! Go away! Now! You have insulted my honor! And for that, you must die! Hey, did you hear that? Uh, no. Exactly. It's gone quiet. Very quiet. What gives? I haven't heard anything since we left Ranger Station Charlie. Just the odd insect. We should keep our guard up. We're a long ways from the nearest outpost. Night. Hold on. What was that? What? I hear footsteps. They sound like boots. They're heading our way. Shit, I hear it too. I think it's Legion. Get ready.
All right, listen here, jackass. Hand over 250 caps right fucking now, or I turn. This is a goddamn robbery. What the fuck does it look like, bitch? Hand over your fucking caps now. Okay, okay. We'll back down. But if we ever see you again, we're gonna have words. Come on, guys. Let's dip. Addy. Addy. dare disturb my luncheon. You'd better give me a good reason not to hoist you upon a cross, slave. Apologies, sir. I bring a message from my master. It's in a letter. For your eyes only. Fine. Give it here. I assume once I have it, I can do as I please? Good. Mm, God. Damn it. My presence is required in the main camp. Ah, very well. You did well to bring this to me, slave. As annoying as it is. I apologize, sir. But, uh, can I go now? Don't test me. Take me to Kenturian hey. Aphrodalius immediately, so I can get done and return to my luncheon. Understand? As you wish, sir. Very well. Let us be off. <sighs> you should just follow your orders and watch the road. The human is rumored to be lurking in the area, so we don't have time for this nonsense. I just don't understand your arrogance. You come here. Tell me what to do, and expect me to like it? What does Tabitha have to say about all of this? It's not our fault we are Tabitha's favorite. Now stand down! I'll stand down when we're all equal. It isn't fair that you Night King bastards are glorified in Tabitha's eyes, while the rest of us live like mules. If you have a problem with our status as the supreme of your Tobitha, take it up with Tabitha. I'm sure she'd want to hear your complaints. What? And get myself beheaded? Hm. Like hell I'll do that. There's a good plan. Now get back to your patrol! Uh, this isn't over. Who dares disturb my inspection? Pardon my intrusion. It is I, the Decanus of this camp, Decanus Aquilus. May I enter? Your insolence is forgiven. This time, approach! How goes the inspection, sir? The inspection is going well. In fact, I just finished. Supplies are well stocked, weapons kept up with, camp is tidy. Congratulations, you passed. That is great to hear, sir. May I ask your permission to relocate this camp? I fear the profligates are getting wise. Your position is well concealed and well placed to harass the profligates. I see no need for relocation. Understood, but I fear that profligates will soon discover us. We are well concealed, but the hills may eventually be our downfall if we are found. Do not test me, Decanus. Do I detect disobedience in your tone? No, sir, it is not disobedience, but simple curiosity. Why is it our camp must remain when the job is done? Nipton burns, searchlight is green. 
Why remain? Nipton and Searchlight was only the beginning. Soon, all of the Mojave will burn, and you will support it. Understand? As you say, sir. I suppose you have to depart now. I wish you a safe journey. Wale, true to Kaiser. <sighs> Do you see anything? Anyone? Not really. The cons are staying put. They've killed anyone trying to escape to us. Hayes is getting anxious. He's worried about the people trapped into town. But the fucking higher-ups are telling us to stay put. Yeah, I know. But we shouldn't be held back. We need to get in there and save them. Yeah, well... For now, we gotta listen to the goddamn idiots in command. I suppose we can't go against orders, even if I don't agree with them. Keep your eyes open. I'm gonna go report into Hayes. Hold there! I've been sent from Jacobstown. What's the situation? Oh, yes. We've been expecting you. Not much has changed since your last visit, I'm afraid. Tabitha and her mutants are holding position up the road. We haven't seen much of them these past few days as a result. So, Tabitha is just holding her position, looking for recruits. Then nothing's new. Damn it! What's the problem? Isn't that a good thing? That just means my whole trip out here was for nothing. But I suppose that's good news for the locals. How so? If the mutants up top aren't up to anything but staying put, then that means they aren't harassing the locals as much as they used to. Marcus will be pleased. Now, I must be off. I have a long trip ahead of me. Be off then. We'll see how the situation develops, and we'll report back if it does. Good luck, and safe journey. Hot, what business have you up here, bitch? I'm sorry for the intrusion, sir. I bring a message from my master to one of the Dikani in the upper camp. May I pass? I care little about what your master wants. The upper camp is off limits to you lemmings. Only slaves approved by Kaiser shall ascend. Now leave. My master will not be happy that you turned me away. Please let me pass. I'll only be a minute. Really, Cal? You think your master frightens me? I would sooner bend knee to Kimball than go against Kaiser. Now leave. I will kill you otherwise. No, please! Okay, okay, I get it. I'll leave. There's a good girl. Now go. I'm sure your master would prefer you return to his service like a good little slave. Now beat it. <laughs> Let's see what you And so, here we have it! The Challenger has entered the field! Before us stands a duel we have not witnessed for what feels like ages! A veteran of our fine legion, Artorius, has challenged Miles! A Praetorian, one of Kaisar's elite bodyguards for his position as Praetorian! Does this mark a changing of the guard? Or will this just mean another dead legionnaire at the hands of the Praetorian guard? 
We shall see. Death to profit. Only one shall leave this arena alive. Combatants, ready yourselves. Three, two, one. Fight! Fight! Come on! Come on! Come on! Warriors, we have a winner! Miles, the Praetorian, has defeated his challenger! Miles shall retain his position as Praetorian! Congratulations, Miles! Now, take your leave and rest. You've earned it! True to Kaiser. True to Kaiser. Hey. Beaumont, come in. Come in. Beaumont. Over. Ranger Beaumont, do you copy? Come in, Ranger Beaumont. Over. Damn it. I hope he's alright. Asking out that static again, I see. Oh, fuck off. I'm just doing my part. What are you doing, Carmine? I'm not insulting your fellow rangers because I'm an asshole, if that's what you're asking. Listen, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm just on edge is all. I've been here for two months now and there's nothing going on. I'm bored as hell. Messing with the radio is my only source of R&R &R around here. Stepanak doesn't mind, why should you? Shit, that came out bad. What I'm trying to say is, I'm sorry. But this is all I have at the moment. Fine. I forgive you. But you better leave that radio alone. Beaumont's got enough to worry about without his rangers getting restless. Next time we hit Novak, I'll buy you a beer. Sound good, Cormon? Make it too. And I might just fall in love with you. Ha! <laughs> You're a woman after my heart. Fine, you got a deal. These good springers bury all sorts of things in these graves. We'll hit the jackpot soon enough. Yeah? Well, why the fuck don't you pick up the shovel? Someone's gotta hold the gun, in case someone gets, uh, curious. So I'm the one stuck with dirt duty? Fuck Hello? you. It's a local. Get him. Whoa! Oh, 
Oh yeah? Bet I can hit that one. Oh yeah? Well, I bet you can. Watch me. Damn it. <laughs> Holy shit, you suck. I'd like to see you try. Oh, there's another one. This one's mine. I can feel it in my bones. Alright, let's see where this shit show goes. Damn it! <laughs> Eat a dick, you cocky bitch. God, you can't shoot for shit. How'd you pass training? Never mind, don't answer that. I'm honestly getting tired of watching you embarrass yourself anyways. Make our way back before they miss us. Ugh, <sighs> fine. I'll wait. Amicus. I'm, looking I'm here for my machete. I put a repair order on it not too long ago. I'll weigh. And yes, I remember. I have it here for you. Take it. Really? It's ready. That was quick. You nearly split it, but who do you think I am? A common thug. I'm not gonna take your machete and not give it back to you. I'm a blacksmith. My job is to repair the equipment you dinguses bring me, not hold it over your heads. Now, take your machete already, Amicus. All right, fair point. Thank you for your hard work. I will put in a good word with your decanus. See you around, Amicus. Here's the latest report from the Mojave. A package courier found shot in the head near Good Springs has reportedly regained consciousness and made a full recovery. I've seen the kind of vengeance born out of events like these. Expect big changes to occur in the region. In other news, mining operations in Sloan have halted after a massive pack of deathclaws have moved into the nearby quarry, completely cutting off the road north. Furthermore, Deconis Dead Sea has distinguished himself yet again after leading a successful assault on the town of Nelson butchering the profligate cowards in the process. When asked, he had this to say. I do not question Kaisar's will. I do not second guess. I couldn't have said it better myself. Awe, true to Kaisar. Halt, this is Imperium Radio, restricted to Legion personnel only. State your business. Don't worry, I'm an ally of the Legion. Very well, you may proceed. However, be warned. Aggressive acts will earn your place on a cross. Oh man, another anomaly. So this is where the signal is coming from. Let's see what this is all about. Our way. True to Kaisar. And who might this be? Nobarcus Nunius, slayer of the great Dinky Dino. A courier, huh? What brings you here, profligate? I solemnly swear I am not the courier. Ah, you're that courier. No, I've not seen that degenerate around here. But if I were you, I would head to Vegas. No whelp from that city leaves it for very long. That's some funky armor you got on. Indeed it is. What you are witnessing is the armor of a Kenturian, pieced together with trophies collected from our numerous fallen foes. Each patchwork is a reminder to the enemy of the might of the Legion and the tenacity of our warriors. Well, it's better than football pads. Do not get the wrong impression, profligate. Our armor may be rudimentary, but our warriors are far superior. All the guns in the world have yet to halt a Legion charge. So, uh... Mind telling me what you guys are doing here? To harass and demoralize the profligates. Why else? Don't you think you can do more out in the front lines? It is by Kaisar's will that I run this station. It's dual purpose. Imperium Radio acts as a slap in the face to the profligates. Demoralizing their troops by its blatant existence while simultaneously boosting the morale and battle willingness of our own forces. With our signal active, the Legion fights harder than ever before against the profligates. There will be no surrender, no retreat, no quarter. They will be as a flood washing over the enemy, the likes of which not even Hoover Dam could retain. What's the Legion like? It's a hard life, 
full of endless training, battle, and bloodshed, but ultimately rewarding. Rewarding, huh? When you pass through the same lands that were once plagued by kimmed up husks of human beings, only to see the cities now flourishing, with fresh flowing water, electricity, and bountiful crops, all thanks to Legion Justice, you grow to be grateful. Yes, ending the plague of degeneracy has its rewards. Why does your face follow your nose? It should be obvious, shouldn't it? I heard some people say that you are all maniacs. Watch your tongue, wastrel, lest I have it removed. No one speaks ill of the son of Mars in my presence. Mars? Who's that? I guess I shouldn't be surprised that a common degenerate is ignorant of his masters. Mars is the god of war. It was he that cleansed the world to wipe the slate clean. It is he that sent Kaisar to form the Legion and bring civility back to the world. It is he that guides us in our campaigns. We follow Kaisar as we follow Mars to victory. So what's your story? When I was just a boy, my tribe was absorbed by the Legion. Back then, we were so set in our ways, content to live off scraps, stealing and pillaging from those just as desperate as ourselves. During that time, the Legion was actively embroiled in a war against a neighboring tribe, the Cyphers. They must have needed more men because it wasn't long before Legion emissaries came to us with an ultimatum. Join, or be extinguished. Having seen the brutality of Legion methods already, my tribe surrendered without contest. The cowards. So what happened next? My new life began. I was just young enough to be accepted for Legion training. I thank Mars every day that I wasn't born a year earlier. A short while into my training, the Cyphers managed to sneak a raiding party into our training camp. I guess they thought killing the less experienced of us would hinder the Legion's advance. They were sorely mistaken. Awakening to the chaos, my Legion training had kicked in. Or maybe it was just my youthful excitement. Regardless, I jumped on the back of one of the tribals, clinging on for dear life while I tried to choke him unconscious. Please go on. When my Kenturian saw this, he yelled something to the effect of, A boy fights while men cower. This must have emasculated the recruits, as suddenly the training camp erupted as they rushed to meet the enemy. Needless to say, the raiding party was massacred to the last man. I was rewarded with the name of Cypher in triumph of my bravery against the tribe. A name I carry with pride to this day. Man, I'm going to be honest. You sound like a god darn idiot, and you look goofy. Degenerate! Oh, bravo. Yes, yes. Quite the story, yes? It is just one moment of many where I brought the fight to the enemy. What else did you want to know? Anyways, I will leave you to it. Great meeting you. So be it. I have a feeling I will be back here, but for now I have some errands to run. I gotta go to the Red Rock for some medicine. <sighs> Degenerates like you belong on the cross. Hold your tongue, wastrel. From within the Mojave Wasteland, soon to be under the Legion's dominion, broadcasting the power of Kaisar, you're listening to Imperium Radio. Here's the latest report from Arizona. Aurelius of Phoenix has successfully secured Cottonwood Cove, bolstering our presence west of the Colorado. It's only a matter of time before Vegas overflows with the blood of the profligates. This just in, the persistent rumors surrounding Lord Kaisar's failing health are exactly that. Rumors. Don't let loose lips land you on a cross, Legionatis. Furthermore, Legatus Linnaeus has finished his campaign in the east and is en route to Hoover Dam as we speak. The profligate's days are numbered. More Imperium coming right up. Stay tuned. Welcome, all loyal subjects of Kaisar, to the voice of the Imperium. This just in. Scouts have reported a mysterious individual spontaneously appearing, then disappearing throughout the region. This individual is highly dangerous and should be turned over to Legion officials, effective immediately. In other news, the profligates at Camp Guardian have gone silent as of late. Travelers through the region make claims of giant monster men that stalk the camp. All Legion agents are advised caution when operating in the area. This next segment is brought to you by the Afacorum Ab Famularus. Why do the work yourself when someone else can do it for you?
Until we meet next, Wale, Amicus. I am Cypher, Contodian of the Legion. This just in. Sources report that veteran rangers are expected to be deployed to the Mojave in the coming months. While this will complicate our war efforts, I, for one, am looking forward to the challenge. See with Pacum Patabella. In other news, the Contertian Silus has willingly given himself up to the profligates in a show of surrender. Kaisar has willed that he be stricken from the rank and to be dealt with under the harshest discretion of any Legion agents that should cross his path. Know that all treasonous actions against your brothers will be punishable by fates worse than death. Stay alert, Legionatis. The Wasteland is a dangerous place. You never know what kind of degeneracy lurks around every corner.